Hey, what's cooking, guys? Welcome back to Sekiro with Dude Long Couch. Okay, so you may have noticed we're back here in Hirata, which is a little weird, I know, but don't worry, we're not going to be here for long. I actually just want to do a little bit of cleanup on some stuff that we may have missed. I don't think this will take very long. I don't plan on it taking very long, unless I end up just like really getting my ass kicked for some reason. But I don't suspect that'll happen. I say as I get pushed in the face with a torch. But it barely even hurt me. Look at that. Ah, okay. The fire damage could end up being problematic. So I'm very much on fire now. So I'm just going to cut a path through these guys here. Quick and easy. Easy XP. I love it. Anyone else feel like being a jerk? Where'd that come from? Oh! Should have made it count, buddy! You should have made it count. But you didn't. And now it's too late. Now all you can do is die. Nameless. In the dirt. And then... I don't even really need to fight these guys. But I think I will anyway. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about the jerks in the back, though. Okay, I should go handle them first. Probably gonna need some axe action, though. Because otherwise, these guys are just real pains in the dick. Okay, I thought I'd be able to block that, but I fucked it up. Ow! Oh, God! Really? Okay, I'll deal with you in a second. Projectile guys get priority in Long Couch's world. Okay, now it's your turn, fat boy. This is actually good practice. I haven't had occasion to fight a ton of these guys, but when they show up, they can be problematic. Like that. They have such weird attacks, like the wind-up on them and the timing can be real tricky. Oh god, look at that. Alright, we're all good though, we're all good. It's also like kind of a nice test of where you are in your skills, you know? Like, not just your overall build, with the strength and defense that you have now, but also just, like, how good you're doing with your parries, how good you can read some of these attacks. Now, I've been told in a comment that there's a hidden wall right around here. Oh, look, here it is. Cut away the bamboo. Oh, Got a wall jump area. I was gonna say, if I came back here just for some spirit emblems... That's going to be stupid. But let's see what else is up here. Where the hell did this bring me? I'm way above the waterfall now. Okay. Is this area completely new? Who the fuck is that? What is this? Uh, hello, buddy. This guy doesn't even have a name. He just seems really strong. Oh, Jesus. Dude. Yeah, he's he's pretty good, it turns out. Okay. Gouging top! Ah, he cut me off! Completely! Dude! Oh! He straight up got me. Who is this guy? Why doesn't he even have a name? Okay, that didn't work so great. <laughs> 
lord, am I gonna die to this guy? So that's the new gouging top. I don't know if that works amazingly well. Fuck! This guy does a lot of damage, man. No. Oh, God! I wonder if I can McCurry that. Wow, I gotta say, I wasn't expecting to find something like this up here. <laughs> Jeez. Hidden boss? Or is this just a regular type enemy? I can't even tell. He's literally just a dude in the world. He doesn't seem to have a name. Yikes. Okay. So let's just go ahead and spend this stuff since I very likely may die to him again. Sucks to lose that XP, but hey. All right, we're running past everybody. Except for this guy, because he shot me and I want my health back. Before he must die. Run, run, run. All day long. Run, run, run while I sing this song. Gonna fight a boss. Gonna kick his ass. Gonna win and then gloat with a lot of sass. I have confidence. I can do this for sure. I just wasn't ready. It was a warm-up fight. This time he's mine. I'm not sure that the gouging top is the right thing for this. Uh, maybe firecrackers. Yeah. Let's try them out. Alright, dude. Nightjar Slash. Okay. That went a lot better. <laughs> Can I get some scrap iron for that? How about a prayer bead? That guy was tough, man. Is that really the whole reason to come up here? I mean, I'm glad that I beat him, don't get me wrong, but... How about a better reward? Here we go, here's something. Mist Raven's Feathers. A bundle of Mist Raven Feathers can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool. Holy shit, there's a whole other tool here! In Usui Forest, far to the north of Ashina, live many mysterious birds of prey. The Miss Raven is the only one to have eluded capture by all who have tried. Should you somehow manage it, you'll find it gone, only feathers in your grasp. Interesting. An entirely new tool that I would have completely missed. Now, I apologize. I don't remember who told me about this uh, missed spot here. It, it may have been Lorenz Palm. I apologize if I'm wrong about that. But uh, yeah, thanks for the heads up, whoever it was. Really appreciate that. That's the kind of stuff I definitely want to know about, guys. If I'm going to miss an entire tool, please, please let me know. All right, that's great. So that's taken care of. We can go back and get a new tool now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to jump down right here, I think. Hold on, let me just do one more glance around here, make sure there's, like, nothing else. I don't appear to be able to, to uh, grapple to the top of this building. I think that's probably the whole reason to be here. Okay, yep, we're good. Now, I wonder, if I do this right, can I avoid taking damage? I'm probably going to miss this, but let's try. Oh, did it. Awesome. Okay. So let's try out the gouging top on some of these guys here. Wow, that did straight up kill him. He charged it up, and it kills some of these weaker guys outright. That is fantastic. That's awesome. Okay. So, I mean, it's clearly not going to be, like, an instant win against some of the tougher guys, like that dude up there, whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> I don't know. But for the weaker guys, yeah, that's really, really good. I really thought that guy knew where I was. I'm kind of surprised I was able to just kill him like that. That's really satisfying. 
I'm gonna have to work really hard to not, like, spam that and waste so many emblems when I don't need to. <laughs> okay. Now, there's actually one more spot in here, and I believe we can access it... Yeah. This should be the spot we want to go to. Now, I don't know what's behind some of these hidden doors, guys. I'm just following directions, so... Whatever we're going to find up here might not be as good as a, <laughs> a new prosthetic tool, but whatever. It's fun to go back and check it out and see what you missed. Okay, this person's still there. I got to remember exactly where the spot was. I think we want to come back here and then wrap around, maybe? No... This area is slightly confusing to me. Okay, up there is the Lady Butterfly area. So I thought it would have been back here. I thought there was another area we could go to around the right side here. Oh, here we go. This is it. Got it. That was kind of weird. I didn't get the death blow at first. Like, I just swung right at him and it, it didn't trigger the death blow for some reason. So this wall here? Yep, there it is. Looky, looky. Balloon of Wealth. Light coin purse. Okay, that was worth the trip of coming back here for sure. I want all the money, guys. I need it. Okay, there's got to be something good in here. Prayer bead? Prayer bead? Thank you! <laughs> That's awesome. And more divine confetti. Yeah, this was a good room. I got two of those from that. Thank you again, whoever told me about this. I definitely don't want to miss those either. Prayer beads? I need all the prayer beads, guys. Please always tell me if I miss a prayer bead. Or money. Or any good items like that divine confetti shit. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, how did I... Is it this wall? I actually don't remember which wall I took to get in here now. <laughs> That's the whole problem with the hidden walls. This might take me a second to figure out, actually. Where the hell did I come in here from? If I just walk the length of the wall... There we go. It's, it's the tavern that denotes it. Okay. Now the last area where I need to double back, this is actually something I noticed myself when I was editing videos. It's actually very close to where we were anyway. We're actually going back to the same place. So Senpo Temple, Temple Grounds. The area where we fought the um, armored asshole guy, there's a spot behind him. I kind of got trapped. I was going to like double back and check out that area, but once you trigger that fight, you get trapped in that long hallway with him, and I actually couldn't go back, and then I forgot about it after the fight. But it should be very close to here. Wolf has an ability known as Night Eye. Night Eye. Okay, I didn't get to read that whole thing, but uh, that sounds interesting. So yeah, just on the other side of this little spot here. Actually, I don't think I ever really explored around. Is there any way to like drop down from here? Doesn't look like it. And then we still have this spot back here that I failed horribly grappling to. Not sure when we'll worry about that. Oh, this is where it leads, isn't it? I wonder if it's possible to drop back down, like kind of reverse engineer and go back that way. I might try that then. This is an interesting area. We got lots of little pinwheel set up and lots of little statues. I'm finding so many statues in this area. Where's the sculptor? I know he's here somewhere. Red and white pinwheel. A small pinwheel made of red and white paper. Found about halfway up Mount Congo. The red and white pinwheels simply spin round and round. Everyone is right here. Um. That's weird. Everyone is right here. What the hell's over there? I think I can make that jump. I bet I could. And look, there's handholds down there. 
There's so much hidden stuff in this area. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, this is totally where that section leads, isn't it? But I bet you there's something to collect over there. I doubt I can go back this way, though, because it looks like I can grapple up to those platforms from there, but I don't have any way to actually grapple over there. But, like, right on that spot right there, that platform, there's something waiting for me there. No, wait, that is where I climbed up, isn't it? The spot I'm trying to get to was lower. Maybe it's this spot over here? I can't tell. I'm going to try and make this jump. Maybe I'll get a grapple point if I'm really, really lucky. Let's just see what happens. Oh, I was really close to that. Didn't quite get it, though. Frame rate kind of took a dump there. <laughs> I don't know if that matters or not. I'm probably not going to be able to reach that regardless. Shit. Well, you know, guys, since I'm kind of going back and kind of redoing things that I missed, maybe now's a good time to go back and try that again. Let's just get back there from here, I wonder. Oh! I also just remembered something. Something just triggered in my brain. Red and white. That guy we met when we first got here, that big baby face guy, he was crying. And he said he wanted a red and white flower, didn't he? Well, we just got a red and white pinwheel. And also, he said something about, like, everyone left him. Everyone left him, nobody likes him. And the pinwheel said, everyone's here. I'll bet you we gotta give that thing to him. That's what he wants. Hey, what's up, fuckface? How'd that feel? Remember that shit next time. Okay. So, I don't know how much, like, mid-air control I have, but I feel like I need to angle myself more to the right to make this work. I'm gonna try that now. Oh, did it. First freaking try. All you need to do is take a break. That's all, guys. Heavy coin purse. Thank you, Lord Jesus. How many of those do I have now, by the way? One heavy, one light. Not nearly enough for my purposes. But that's okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. I can just barely get a grapple point there. Just try and make sure I'm lined up here. Whoa, frame lag almost screwed me there. Stupid PS4 base model. I'm not cool enough to have a PS4 Pro, guys. And at this point, I don't think I'm ever going to get one because PS5 is probably going to be out next year. So it's kind of like, what's the point, right? This thing works well enough for my purposes. Fuck you. Stupid lizards. Hate you guys. It's just... I just like to randomly appear in places that don't make any sense to me. Alright, so is this the spot I was looking at? I don't think it is. Because I saw a hand-holdy cliff area like this, but I saw a little opening where, that I could walk into. Maybe it's up a little further. Let's jump up here. Wall jumping is cool. White pinwheel? A small pinwheel made of white paper found below a cliff at Mount Congo. Perhaps it was carried there by the wind. It is simply a single pure white pinwheel. Only the child is right here. Only the child? Am I supposed to give that to Kuro? He never asked for anything like that, did he? I have no memory of that. Interesting. We're finding some cool stuff, guys. It is nice finding these guys. Oh, shit, I'm poisoned. Oh, man. <laughs> I was going to say, it's nice finding these guys when you have that health regain skill because it's just like, it's free health given back to you. Okay, is this thing going to kill me forever? Do I have to take some shit? 
Uh, what is it? I thought it would just go away on its own, but it's not. And it's actually killing me right now. Uh, yeah. Antidote powder. Actually, I can just use this from inventory, can't I? That's probably a better idea. Okay, just top myself off there. Right. Back to what we were doing. Where are we now? I think I hear somebody in there. Uh, hello. What the fuck? There's definitely something going on in there that I don't like. Yay for more money. Monkey booze. <laughs> Alcohol created by dew pulled in a hollow tree. Fruits hidden by monkeys in tree hollows can sometimes ferment and turn into sake with a bit of luck. While it's known for its brutally harsh flavor, some find this acquired taste irresistible. All right. Somebody somewhere is going to want that. Oh my god. What is going on over there? Let's just wait on that for a second or so. I still don't think any of these were the spot that I was seeing from that other area, but, um, okay. We'll worry about that later, I guess. What the fuck is that thing? It's got Wolverine claws! But he went down like a bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some weird enemies in this area. It's cool, though. Black gunpowder. Okay, let's see what's behind this. Another secret passage. Bringing me... Whoa, what's this? Shinobi Path Note. Shinobi Escape Route leads to Demon Bell. Leads to Demon Bell. But they're saying that about this door here. Because that's where the note's pinned. Um... Headless? The Sheena outskirts? Okay. We've got spirit enemies, don't we? That dude almost reached me from there. I do have Divine Confetti now. But... I feel like... This is, uh... This is that path in the outskirts, isn't it? That hut where we first found the Divine Confetti item. I bet this is where that leads to. I'd rather come at this from that side. Because I think it's a lot closer to an idol. But at least now I know what's there. But yeah, we're going to worry about that kind of stuff later, guys. For now, it's all about Mount Congo here. Okay, here's the damn bell and another idol. I wonder if I rest here, does that guy come back? I don't want him to come back. He does. He's actually really weak, though. It would actually be a really simple matter to just farm XP here. <laughs> 46 XP a shot. And where exactly is this? Oh, that's the bridge where we fought the armor guy. We're now right above it. I see. That's where we found the pinwheel. 
And there's more stuff over there to climb, but I can't get to it yet. Okay. Now this bell. I think I got a comment about this a long time ago. Somebody told me not to ring this, if this is the thing I'm thinking of. Bell inscription. Do not ring this bell. Inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only the status of heart should ever consider it. Okay. I think what this bell does is it makes the game harder for people who just want even more of a challenge. It's not really me. <laughs> I like the level of challenge that we're at right now. And I don't think I'm going to be ringing that. Apparently you can reverse it somehow, but I don't know how it works. I don't know how the process works. I don't know if it's a pain in the ass. And frankly, guys, I'm just... I'm just not going to do it. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe we'll mess with it, like, after we beat the game or something. Just come back and see how it works. It might be a fun thing to do. So, knowing that we can get here from Ashina outskirts, there's probably no other way to progress from here, right? Because they wouldn't let you do that yet. Like, we can't jump over there from here. We'd never make that jump. I think this is just a dead end. So, yeah. That's good. That about does it, I think, for... the uh, extra exploration. But now that we have been here and found the pinwheel, I think I should go back to the beginning and give it to that guy and see what he does. Hopefully he doesn't have rod essence. I don't know. I, I picked up a couple since the last time I cured it, but I'm not sure if he was one of them. Oh, and I should also go back and make that prosthetic tool. I pretty much forgot that I even had that. But yeah, that'd be a really good idea. Okay, that dude... Yep, he's right over here. They left me all alone. Oh, he does want the pure white flower. Red and white or white. I thought he said red and white before, but maybe I made that up. Maybe I just saw that because that was the first one I found. Okay, let's give him the white one. ま、白い炎。これか。ああ。ああ。それは。おお。思い出したぞ。みんな。みんなは。うちの巫女様たち。そうか。俺は。ま、白い風車を取ろうとしたのか。あの子の分の。風車を。なあ、あんた一つ頼みがあるんだ。何だ。俺を神隠ししちゃくれないかい。何だと。俺は実は知ってるんだ。あんたは忍びなんだろ。坊様たちが言っていた忍びは神隠しができるって。何故それ
The door is not locked like I previously thought it was. I did make that mistake. Okay, so, we'll, uh, yeah, let's go back. Actually, let's go make that tool before I forget again. Senpo Temple combat style is a style of fighting strongly focused on martial arts. Those of the Senpo Temple master martial arts in the pursuit of virtue. They believe one's fist combined with a strict discipline were essential for defeating Buddha's enemies. So we've got Senpo Temple style. We've got Nightjar style. Wonder what other cool things we'll be able to do. What other styles we'll be introduced to. Oh my God. I could give him that drink, too. I probably won't do that right now, because I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with all these drinks. So this will make the Mist Raven. It's a prosthetic tool loaded with the feather of a Mist Raven. When attacked in an assumed stance, disappear like the mist and move away. Once you think you've caught one, all that will remain is feathers. That is the mark of a true Mist Raven. Mist Stance. When attacked in a stance, instantly move in the direction chosen with L. Oh, that sounds kind of amazing. That could be really good for getting behind enemies. Sounds like it might be really difficult to like get used to using, honestly, but like once you do, that could be dope. Spring load firecracker. Should I just make this? It'll unlock some other things. Long spark. Compounded gunpowder is said to have a long spark, and by increasing the proportion of black gunpowder, the effect can be prolonged for longer than the average firecracker. So this just makes it better. Long-lasting flash of gunpowder in all directions. Yeah, that seems like a really good thing to have, honestly. I'll tell you what, I have the material, I have the money. Let's just do this. It didn't unlock the one right in front of me, though. It only unlocked this one. Okay, cool. How does that work? <laughs> it's, it's right there on the tree. So I guess we'd have to buy the spring load flame vent. Hold R2 to charge up a blast. The flame blast knocks enemies backwards. That just sounds cool. I don't know how effective it would be. But it sounds like a thing I would like. This one just lets us do it in all directions, which I don't know how useful that's going to be, really. It seems like maybe not. I don't think I've really had a problem with, like, having those actually connect with enemies like if it's going to you know what i mean like sometimes they just ignore it but if it's going to work then it, it usually works if that makes sense that probably didn't make any sense but i hope you guys know what i'm trying to say <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and buy one coin purse so i can save that money and now i think we are ready to go back to the temple and try and make some more progress there.